if you want in on my biggest VC giveaway yet, we've got multiple winners. All you have to do is stay to the end of the video to find out the rules. I'll erase you here. What's going on everybody, Dominus here, and in this video, I have the story of Shammy Wells for you guys. So, this was the most requested story on my last video, and that's why I'm bringing it to you guys. Now, here's the thing, when it comes to Shammy, he's not a bad guy. His story doesn't have any, like, dark stuff in it, it's really just following his career from high school to the NBA. But it will answer a lot of your questions when it comes to why he's talking this big game to you, you know, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that. But he doesn't have any of the shoe deals or any of the ESPN highlights. You get what I'm saying? So it's going to answer all of those questions. So without talking anymore, let's just get into it. Shammy Wells, born in 1992, attended the very famous Montverde High School during his senior year. Now at this school, Shammy was known as a complete player. A player who had supreme athleticism with an insane 44 inch vertical and a 3 point range that made him a threat as soon as he crossed half court. At a certain point, Shammy Wells was ranked number 3 in the nation in his senior class that featured future NBA talents such as Anthony Davis, Andre Drummond, Bradley Beal, and Austin Rivers. Now Shammy ended up leading his team to a 21 and 1 record and blew out teams by an average of 16.5 points per game. When it comes to Wells as an individual, during his senior year, he averaged 18.2 points, 6.1 assists, and 8.5 rebounds per game. Shammy was offered multiple scholarships to play D1 basketball. Although he was reported to have interest in signing with Kentucky to play alongside Anthony Davis, he ultimately decided to attend Seton Hall. He was told that if he attended this school, they would mold the offense around him and allow him to have complete control of it. Multiple news outlets began to criticize Wells on how he would rather pad his stats on a bad team than win a championship on a great one. Due to the fact that Wells had complete control of this offense, he had multiple games where he scored 40 points or more. Now, Wells played for two years at this school and ended off a college career record of 23 and 67. Now this record was only counting games that he actually played in. But this really made it hard for NBA scouts to evaluate him. Because of his decision to play for a team to pad his stats and not compete for an NCAA championship, NBA GMs felt that drafting him wouldn't help their overall team's success. This caused Wells' NBA stock to drop. He was originally predicted to go in the top three, but ended up slipping down to the 14th pick in the 2013 NBA draft, being selected by the Utah Jazz. In his rookie year, Shammy Wells played some solid basketball, averaging 15 points, 5.2 assists, and 3 rebounds per game. But woefully for Shammy, he began to slide down in value after his rookie year. Now the reason for this is because teams felt that he was always looking out for himself and not for the team. This caused him to lose out on shoe deals and many, many endorsements. It also caused him to be traded from team to team. Soon, he found a home on a brand new team who was very excited to have him. Now this team was in rebuilding mode, so they even brought in a player who gained recognition from playing in an outdoor basketball tournament called The Proving Ground. His name was DJ, and Wells saw major potential in him. He decided to help mold DJ into the player that he could never become, both on and off the court. And the rest is history. All right, guys, that was the story of Shammy Wells. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you got to hit that sub button. And you know what else you have to do? Let me know who is next in the comment section below. I really want to know who you guys want to see next. If you are not subscribed to my channel, you got to hit that sub button because you know I'm about this. I I'm coming up. I'm coming up on YouTube, and I would love to have your support. And I know if you enjoyed this episode of these 2k stories you'll enjoy the other ones and the future ones all right so hit that sub button and i will see you guys in my next video peace all right guys these are the rules to my month of december giveaway all you have to do is subscribe to my channel follow me on any of my social media platforms and message me or comment telling me you are in if you comment you only have to comment on one video that is it also 
If you want to learn how to increase your chances, be sure to message me on any of those social media platforms down there because if you do, you automatically get a spot in the final round of the drawing. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.